Okay, let's focus on the breath. There are lots of other things you could focus on right now, but this is something that's worthwhile. When we come into the present moment, it's not simply to be in the present moment, to appreciate and to absorb the present moment. It's to remind ourselves that the present moment is something we're constructing. We're constructing out of raw materials coming from the past. And because we've done an unskillful job in the past, we've been suffering quite a lot. Some of the raw materials coming in right now may be good and some may be bad. And so you have to learn how to deal with both the good and the bad in a skillful way. So you can alleviate some suffering right now and pass some good things along to your future. We're in the midst of the heat wave, or ordinary avenues of escape are closed. So you ask yourself, what's the best thing for me to do with this present moment, the materials I've got right here? Well, the breath is something that can help you develop concentration, take your mind off the heat, put your mind on what's really important is how skillfully you're approaching things, the extent to which you're adding suffering or taking suffering away. And that's something you can do in any situation, as long as you've got the breath, as long as you've got your mindfulness and alertness. You can use them to build something good. People used to criticize the monks in the forest tradition. How, when you go out in the forest, where do you get your candles? Where do you get your incense? As if that were a necessary part of the practice. And as John Munn would tell his students, okay, when you place your hands together, assume that the fingers are your candles, and your virtue is your incense. In other words, no matter what the situation, you've always got enough to opportunities to do good. So you look for them. This is how the perfections get developed. Not in easy places, but in places where there are obstacles, where there are challenges. It's, in fact, it's an old Thai saying, man bomi parami bogart, which means where there are no obstacles and no, no perfections arise. So look for the possibility, look for the opportunity for per perfections you've got right here. At the very least, you've got patience and endurance, determination, truth. You're going to stick with this practice. And whether the results come immediately or they come over time, they're going to come. And this is where the Buddhist teachings on verbal fabrication are good. You can make yourself suffer because of your verbal fabrication, in other words, the things you focus on and the comments you make about them. Or you can give yourself energy. How you talk to yourself is, plays a huge role in the practice. So that the Buddhist perspective have the floor in your committee meeting. You'll benefit, and the people around you will benefit as well. 